A histogram is a graphical representation of the frequency table of a continuous variable. For example, here are some scores. They just happen to be selected from a uniform distribution. Let's pretend that those are scores for some students on a particular test. R has a very powerful function called hist. It stands for histogram. So since we've already got this vector x created, we name it grades. But if you were doing this in, a, in an assignment, you would have to actually use the concatenate function and enter the grades there. So we're going to look at uh, the histogram of grades. There's an added option here, right is equal to false. So there's the histogram of our data. Like there's two values between 65 and 70. There's uh, four values between 70 and 75. Uh, when, when we called histogram, it drew this histogram. We also saved histogram in an object called H. Let's walk through the steps showing what R does when it builds a histogram. The first thing that it does is take the data set and sorts it in in order from the lowest to the smallest. The hist command then makes a decision about how many pieces to divide this up into and identifies what the breaks are going to be. We can see the breaks that a histogram made on this data by checking H, which we had saved before, dollar sign breaks printed that out and these are what the breaks are. There's the starting break at uh, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90. What R does is then look at each of the values in grades and assigns them to one of these categories. Uh, so 88 is between 85 and 90, so it gets assigned to that category. 77 is between 75 and 80, so it gets assigned to that category. These categories were created with a cut command. Cut operates on the data set grades. It needs to know what the breaks are. And of course, we're using right is equal to false. It assigns each of the values to one of these categories. We can do a table of categories to get a, a frequency table. So we build the frequency table by first of all building a histogram of the data, extracting from that histogram the breaks, using those breaks and a cut command to build the cat to assign each one of the values to a category and then uh, plotting a table of categories. Okay, great job. Keep up the good work, everybody.